Hey guys, today I am bringing you a collab with Trainer Nick, who won a 12 win grand challenge, even beating B Rad with this Lava Miner Skeleton King deck, which is very popular, and most people say it is the best lava deck in the game. So, we're going to be testing that out here today and giving you a guide on how to play it. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Oh, yep. The first replay is against this hideous abomination. Oh, um, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> yeah. So, like, what's your play style for the opening moves? Is it usually just like lava? Um, my opening lava? move would either be minor or tombstone. If I have none of those, I'll kind of just wait because usually they'll make the first move since a lot of this meta is bridge spam. Yeah. But if I notice they're not making an opening move, I kind of can't wait for double just in case it's a really bad counter. I need to play it out during single elixir time mm. or I'll be pretty much screwed for the rest of the match. And he's going really aggressive here first play. And that's yeah, just, he uh... he went really aggressive. But the thing is, I got very good Skeleton King value. And the fact that he wasted two elixir on the Skeleton King ability had me in the yeah. he did have a lot of elixir, but I'm up a lot. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people just, like, use the ability to use the ability. They don't, like, just yeah, he definitely recognize that it's just two elixir, it. you know, you're wasting. And, yeah, the Skeleton King does a, well, he has a lot of health, so he does a bunch of damage here. Yeah, he he's a big tank. Like, if you, if you can time the ability correctly, I knew he even had Zappies down, but still the Skeletons are going to just gonna run through him either way. I know that was a couple seconds ago, but, I mean, it's just going to run through him. Um, okay, this also, I wanted to ask about the Skeleton King. Do you When do you usually use the ability? Use it like uh, when he's at full health or half health or what? Okay, I will pretty much use him whenever I see I'll get the most value, but most of the time it'll be when he's full. But if it's half and he has no elixir, then I'll instantly click it so I can get... It'll take tower instantly. Mm -hmm. And what about like the health on the Skeleton King? Do you want him to tank for the skellies or...? Uh, yeah, but at the same time, the skellies can tank for him, but it's kind of strange. You need to get him in the right position for him to just take the whole tower. Yeah, I feel because like... Because just alone could possibly like take out might need a little tower. nerf on the skeleton speed spawn. I feel like that's... Oh, yeah, definitely. You. Yeah, anyways, it's not yeah. looking too great right now, because the zappy's on the tower, and... You know, I knew I knew we were fine just because of the fact of he needs he doesn't have a big spell and I knew he had no way of getting to the tower instantly. Like yes, he goes giant, but like I have a tombstone to pull it and I'm uh -huh. fine. And I'm kind of in these situations where I have a bunch of things on the board, including the skele uh, skeleton king. I'm practically just going to click the ability and hope for the best and spam at the bridge too. Yeah, As so you can see, tower... the ability is just going to take tower. He has no he has no chance. Oh, I didn't even I wasn't even looking at the ability. That's crazy. Yeah, that's the you, thing. You gotta watch the ability at all time. He might be at like half a sliver and you need to click it if you get you can see. But don't yeah. click it if he's gonna die instantly. That's just no point. Yeah, that's kinda Yeah, but anyway. Okay. All right. There we go. So can you explain a little bit about like how to play the deck when you go lava and when you defend or when you sack and stuff like that? Uh, so I kind of go Lava Hound whenever I, I it's kind of hard to explain, but like you want to go Lava whenever you put down a big defense and you think you could like the Lava Hound would tank for it because this is a very defensive deck. It's not a very aggressive Lava Hound deck besides you can get a Skeleton King down. Mm -hmm. So you want to go Lava Hound is just instantly when you when they overcommit or they have like their key things out of cycle. Like, pretend that you see that queen coming down, and I, so I place Lava Hound to tank for it, and I know he doesn't have anything else. With that deck, he's not going to have anything. Yeah, he's going to have Lightning, but, like, if I can place my Skeleton King down and get enough value, I'll be fine. Yeah, and I think that, I get another reason this deck is a lot of really good right now is because a lot of the decks run Lightning, and so... Uh, yeah, and you know, this it, deck... You don't get an opportunity to use Lightning too often. In my opinion, that's why I don't yeah. run it. And also, like, when I know they're down Elixir, the ability is crucial. I mean, it will literally destroy them. They have no chance. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not like maybe they'll get an Elixir to a defend. Oh, they're done. Yeah, that, that, was, that was nasty there. 
And now that I know I'm up, I'm pretty much just gonna I'm gonna wait for him to make the move so I don't take like I don't throw the game. Yeah, but I feel like Royal Giants is giant it has to be a little tough because you don't have like a big DPS unit for the Royal Giant. Yeah. That's why it was really good that I was already up elixir. It already made it way easier. The Skeleton yeah, King like... definitely was not the best Skeleton King. I very much overcommitted there. Extremely overcommitted. But I mean, you're but only down. down. You're only you're only down like two after that play, so it's not too bad. Considering yeah, no, you have not, a lava ready and whatnot, and he just uses Royal Giant. Yeah, since he already wasted his queen, I knew whatever he pulls at me. I knew since he had a queen down, he might go for a three crown. It's in the back of my mind. I'm just thinking about it. But at the same time, I'm just going to support my push and go in. Yeah, so you got to keep I know that little can't. elixir saved three in crown. case. Yeah, I knew he can't three crown. I, I just knew it wasn't going to be able to happen because his RG is already dead. And if he places another one now, I'll be able to defend it. I think I clicked the ability here. Yeah, uh, I, d I do do a defensive one. Yeah, and the ability does kill RG. the Dark Prince too because the ability is really good. And as you can see, you know, the lava and the skelly dregs are there because he tried to play offense and just couldn't. Yeah, pretty much. You just want to play as passive as possible. But at the same time, in some matchups, you want to just go in. Like if it's a hard counter and you re we'll get we'll get to that with the B ride game. Even though it wasn't a hard counter, it just you'll it'll plan out. Mm -hmm. It'll pan out. You'll see. You'll see what happens. All right, here we go. All right. So Queen Hogs, that's uh very popular deck. I know Lava Loon, the normal Lava Loon counters it. What about the Skelly King deck? Um, This is a very hard matchup for me. And the problem is, is I could play Skeleton Dragons down and Mega Minion and both Delivery Fire Spear practically counters the entire thing. And it's just super hard for me to get any value. Mm -hmm. So Skeleton King is going to be practically carrying me this match. Because so Loon I, seems I, I to get a lot, of, a lot of value. That's an interesting it, play right there. I think he misclicked there because I could just fully tell that he acts like it just looks too weird. Like, I don't know why he would go hogs there, but, yeah, but I knew since he already made a mistake like that, I have to compromise on it. Yeah. Also, That's why would you go with one. the um, Skeleton King? Like, did did you not know he was playing Queen Hogs when you played the Skeleton King? Or uh, I did. Like, I instantly recognized it, but I was like. If this qu the problem is, if I go in with a Mega Minion or Skeleton Dragons, it's still gonna get a bunch of damage. He clicks his ability. I'm done. Like it, Skeleton King was kind of the best option. I don't. I don't know. It's kind of even though the hog. I mean, that would have been a good answer for the hogs, but it worked out great since he went in with hogs and already had it down. So do you usually say I the Skeleton King never, for the hogs? Or yeah, usually I will. Like in that situation, I will because I can't rely on Tombstone. Unless Earthquake's out of cycle, and even if it is, he'll go in for a log. Do you consider just, like, not playing the Tombstone to try and get him to use an Earthquake? Because, I mean, you, if you can go up a lot of Elixir in this matchup, it's really nice, but... Oh, yeah, I could definitely go for that. I don't really know why I clicked the ability here. I just wanted him to overspend. I wanted him I mean, to go... A two no. for two, so... Okay, so what I was going for there is him using his Fire Spear, but he ended up cycling it anyways, because the Fire Spear just gets too much value. Yeah, but Skeleton I feel like it's, it's kind of pointless to outside try and out cycle this deck because it's cheap. Plus, when the queen's on the field, you know it becomes even cheaper. So it's not really. Yeah, really honestly, good. but the thing is, my deck isn't the heaviest. So if I can outcycle him, like I wouldn't outcycle him. But if I can get one card out of his cycle and he has to cycle back to it, I'm already gonna win. Well, yeah, but yeah, I, I forgot about this too. You also have the skeleton king. So exactly, uh, if you're going, you can also knock your cycle down by two so yeah this deck is very 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 strong and you see yeah, what i mean yeah. how i had to push there pretty much and he just delivered fire spirits and it was gone i mean it was gonna die anyway yeah but, but i mean you still got a lot of damage there oh yeah enough to probably win the game and so do you ever lava in the back like against these types of decks in double? Or yeah, do you I'll lava just... the back and up enough damage. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, see but there, that's just the counter push time... value. So. Yeah, but at the same time, right there, I knew my Skeleton King could get a ton of value. So I was like, you know, I'm going to go lava hound in front of it. Skeleton King ability, and I'm probably going to wrap up the game, and that's exactly what happened.
Yeah, that's that's it, it doesn't look like the most hard matchup, but it does seem pretty intense. So you gotta make sure you don't mess up. Because you know one yeah, you hogs lock on and you're up. done. So there yeah. we go. So E Giant. Um one quick question before we start. Do you rather would you face the Ice Wizard E Baby Dragon E Giant variant or like Queen? <laughs> Probably know the answer to this. Oh, one, it would but... definitely be the Ice Wizard since I can fire I can't fireball, but I can minor it. Like, I can't minor a queen. He'll just click the ability yeah, and then he'll walk on the tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just very sketchy. But at the, at, in this matchup, if I can time my miners correctly, since he doesn't have skeletons, I can't really retarget. Yeah, he has bowler, but he's just not going to have enough elixir for it. You got to watch out for... So, yeah, this, this matchup's probably a little um, easier than with Lava Loon. Maybe because of the fact that, you know, you can't really activate his king tower unless you play a bad miner. Because, yeah. That's... yeah. So it's way problem... easier to play against control decks when you don't have the king tower activated. Yeah, definitely. The problem with this matchup is I thought he was playing Splash Yard. I have yes. never seen this deck in at least a couple metas. And I was like, okay, he's playing Splash Yard. That's why I was really aggressive with the minor arrows. Because I didn't want him to have any counter push value since Graveyard's a counter push deck. Mm -hmm. So, and then once I realized, I started changing on my play style. You just gotta, with this deck, you have to adapt. You can't really rely on one thing to work every time, like a lot of balloon push. Uh huh. It's not gonna work. These bowlers are real trouble for me since I don't have a high DPS besides Mega Minion. Yeah, I, I like need the Mega Minion for, for the bowlers a lot. Mega Minion is Mega Minion is my homie, real homie. Oh yeah, it's great and i just try getting as much value as possible out of every single card i put down i have to if mm. i mess up one tombstone i'm done i lose yes that's partly just because of the freaking abomination of the e-giant there so yeah because, the e-giant you know, gets you to play very well e-giant can take your tower at like five percent hp so yes very very true that's the problem i can't really mess up so I have a question. Why would you go lava into the same lane as an E giant, considering you don't have a loon? Uh, I knew I could defend and possibly get a huge counter push off of it. It was it was just kind of like uh, a hesitation. Like I had to like just make up my mind, and I was like, if I you know whatever happens is gonna happen. But I I had to do that because I needed a counter push. Uh -huh. I knew this guy also was not the greatest player in the world, so if I could get a really good counter push off of him, I'd win instantly. So what's the... Uh, why'd you go with the delayed tombstone there? I'm not... Uh, there really. I, I didn't want to get... So with this, I knew it was going to be a very close matchup. He has lightning. He could just lightning cycle, so I'm making sure he does not get any damage. And I knew by the time he plays down his other E-Giant, I have tombstone back. His deck's way too heavy to keep up. Yeah, that's true. And also, I mean, he can't really outcycle you at all because as long as you have the Skelly King on the field, then your cycles cut mm -hmm. the seven cards. So, yeah, I keep going super aggressive with these Lava Hounds because that's the only way I'm going to get damage. I don't have Lightning. I just, I don't have a backup plan. I have to just hope for the best and make sure I defend with absolutely. Yeah, and there he finally activates the King Tower. Very annoying. Also, you took a bowler hit. That was nasty. Yeah, that but... bowler hit. I was just about to mention that bowler hit was crucial. Like, I could have instantly wand pretty much off that, and I was like, okay, I got this. No, that bowler hit. I can't allow bowler hits to get on. So with e -Gine, it's kind of like a um, out-chipping game you're trying to out yeah, yeah oh my god much he is. just is he is he lagging what happened there he just gave up the flying machine no he he kind of didn't have anything for it. he didn't have his i kind of went in there since he didn't have his ice wizard in cycle nor torn it he did have nato but there was nothing for nato to get value out of yeah and you got to be really careful when you start using cards in desperation you know because then you don't have it for the counter push or yeah whatever yeah and i was thinking here i was like maybe i could go lava hound and like, I, but the problem, I can't risk it. I just cannot afford yeah, to I accidentally agree. go with the hound and it get no damage and I lose. And that's what I did right here, but I knew I had minor and then I would get back to arrows and I would win. Yeah, true. Yeah, this matchup looks, looks nasty, but it also looks like you can handle it. I don't know about the queen yeah, variant, no, but. Oh. It's definitely, oh, with queen, I don't know. I kind of just can't, I don't. I can't really kill Queen if he places it in the right position. I can't get to it. 
Here we go. B rad. Right. Oh, playing Lumber Loon Free. What is he doing with his life? Why are you, why are you playing Lumber Loon Free? So, this, you're going to wait for the, his first move. This was Is it Lumber Loon? Is it really Lumber Loon? It, it might. It, it might. <laughs> yeah. And it, what are we doing? This was terrible. I mean, this was probably the worst oh, thing that I've had. Flying for. Machine. Ugh. Yeah, that's what I mean. When I tell people I was happy when I beat him, I mean, I was so excited because I already took a ton of damage. And I had a terrible starting hand. I was. I, uh, this was horrible. I literally Dang, just I couldn't do that. anything. I mean, no Mega Minion, not even Skeleton Dragons. It's just Okay, that bowler, I wanted to see if I could get a King Tower activation. I don't know why I'm trying new things on an absolute pro. Like, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't that, know why I did that. Does that work? I don't think that works. No, I think you no, to be it doesn't. The bowler has to be way closer. Like, it has to be a nated one for it to yeah. work. But, you know, I tried it anyways, because I was like, maybe I could do a slick play. But I don't recommend doing that. Uh, yeah, Lumberloon. Lumberloon's a. Oh God! Why would you? Uh, why would you arrow there? Is it because you don't want to get I arrows? I do. I can't anything? afford to take damage already. That's the thing. I can't afford it. But yeah, yeah. Also, you know, you can't afford to do that because um, you don't need arrows for anything else, really. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this matchup. The thing about this deck, you can come back at any time. Like you're not ever fully out of it. That's exactly what you're going to see in this. I mean, I'm down 2,400 damage against a complete professional player, so... Yeah, but also it looks like this matchup is way easier against Baby Dragon, because Baby Dragon oh, is yeah, just for as long sure, as you're for not sure. in range but of... the, the problem is, it's just like, if you counted the starting... He had a very nice prediction there. If you count the starting hand, it was just horrible. I mean, there was nothing I could do. And then I let him predict me. That was just bad. I, I had that running through my mind that he might, but I was at the same time, I just didn't really think about it and kind of just impulsive decision. Yeah, and that was that was a really good play there too, but oof. And yeah, that Mega I mean, Minion was shift right out here, of... But now you can kind yeah. of regroup as long as you just uh, make sure you take out his Lumber Loon push. And he goes in for the King Tower. That's interesting. Okay, this is where I knew I had a full blown chance. So I didn't over I didn't over defend. I, I knew it's not gonna take tower. I can just play passive. It's gonna get close, but he's not gonna be able to. And he doesn't have a spell. He doesn't have his baby so dragon I'm cycle. Just like, yep, and I'm kinda just like go in. He doesn't have baby dragon cycle. We have to this is our one time opportunity here. That like was this smart. is it. This is all or nothing. That was smart. I like that. In the bar barrel, I'm not gonna arrows either. You know, it's not, it's whatever. Yeah, because I feel like there and was. This is kind of just. This is kind of just go in and pray. Like this is really just spam and pray. Yeah, I mean, his baby, this baby dragon is out. He can't deal with your stuff. I mean, he can freeze, but still, there's nothing doing that much damage. And so, like, yeah, yeah, as long as you 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 just need to wait until the perfect time, and that perfect time happened to be you know two seconds away from losing the game, but. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. And I got the, okay. So this is where it starts to get very, very scary. I go for an emergency lava hound because if it gets one hit, I win, and it does. And it got two hits. No, I needed two hits. So I'm like, okay, I gotta cycle back. I'm gonna play mm -hmm. super passive, and I'm like, if am I, the loon's gonna connect? I didn't. I didn't know if he had freeze in cycle, so I was super scared. Yeah, that, that just looks like the heart, heart beating really hard type of match there. No, oh, yeah, Especially I guarantee. The yeah, I was hoping to go. I didn't get somebody that's good, but I ended up doing it and I beat him. Yeah, great. Great job, though. Very I mean, difficult. Yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So if you did, then hit that like button and uh, maybe I'll play this deck soon. I don't know. I'm more of a loon guy, but we'll try it again for sure.